things got to be this and that. I'm just speaking the truth. But see, that's how confused you are. She going through. She must be going through because she's talking out of her mind. Yeah, okay. Bluetooth pairing. I'm not finna go to nobody in private. Uh, Tyree James, I'm not finna go to nobody in private. Because it's not private anymore. It's not private anymore. It's public. China Morton, thank you. Do I still in the Christ? I mean, of course I do. But the way that this is going, y'all gotta tell me. <clears throat> For all y'all church goers. You going to church, paying your tithes, da 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 da. Where you at? If you're gonna be a part of a church, be a part of a church, meaning if you're gonna be a part of an organization, be a part of an organization. <clears throat> but don't, don't take 20 years for you to have the same car your pastor got. Why you ain't got the same car your pastor got? I mean, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. The church, the church, and Christianity is the only, the church and Christianity is the only place you can get robbed and nobody call the police. And nobody call the police. The church is the only place you can get robbed and nobody call the police. Period. There I said it. There, I said it. I said it. The church is the only place that you can get robbed and nobody call the police. I said it. Now, I'm going to stop this right here. I appreciate um, Jay Marvelous. I got the video from him. I don't have an Instagram, but I'm going to use this from your boy, uh, brother. Um, Leandra Johnson basically is, she has said F Christianity in a different video. And now everybody, that's why the video keeps starting and stopping. Because people are calling her, basically trying to, you know what I'm saying, get her to not say what she's trying to say. But on a different channel that I had, um, Christianity versus Spiritual, I pretty much laid out my story of how, in which I'm starting to think that Spiritual, that whole label is not good either. Um, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just be a good person. If you see someone that's struggling, help them. Be a good parent. Be a good wife. Be a good husband. Be a good sister. Be a good daughter, father. All that. Just be a good person. You don't have to be a part of a set. You don't have to be a part of the Christian church. You don't have to be a part of... Because honestly, whether you believe me or not, this sis right here, she's a gospel singer. That's where her bread and butter comes from. Singing the praises of the L-O-R-D. Like, think about that word and the sense of that word. Who else uses that word? The Romans, the Catholics, that's what they called regular as people. God, the word God, God and goddesses. That's what they used to call regular as people. Now it's trickled down into this Christianity thing. And Christianity is linked to, uh, uh, oh man, the Catholic church and the things that they're doing now. They were just in the news the other day for over 117 cases of child ABUSE. Why would you want to be linked to something that's like that? Now to flip it to the other side where I'll speak on my story again. Every single time that I have ever went to church, they give you a program and everything is done at a specific time of the day. Now let a tragic accident or some shit happen, you know what I'm saying, close by or whatever. Yeah, they may shut that church down, but the next day over, best believe they're still in church following that program. You have to keep the program. You have to sing at this time. We have to pray at this time. Why? Y'all never thought that shit to be weird? At no other time. At no other time. Like when you're at home, you may cook dinner at four o'clock. You may start cooking dinner at six o'clock. But when you go to church, everything is on a set time schedule. They will take the microphone from somebody if they start testifying for too long. It's time for us to preach now. It's, it's time. It's time. We have to preach right, right now. We have to pass the collection plate, plate right, right now. Why? And I didn't get into this shit and start realizing this shit. So I became like 28, 29, 30 years old. And I just completely stopped going to church. Not necessarily because I felt guilt or, you know what I'm saying? That's why most people stop going to church. They feel guilty. They're never going to do good. And let me tell you something. You're never going to do good enough for that Bible. Hello, they say J-E-S-U-S -S was a perfect being and we have to be like him. How in a days like today, even in the 50s, how could a person be like J-E-S-U-S? -S? Even in the 40s, how could a person be like J-E-S-U-S? -S? How? It is impossible to be perfect. And in the sense of... Even though, and then the whole battle of going to hell for your sins and all this, that, and the third. But you can pray for your sins and be forgiven. So, don't that cancel it out? 
Like if you murder somebody and you pray for forgiveness, you can still go to heaven. Excuse me. That doesn't make any sense either. The whole honor your father and, the, and thy mother and your days will be long and all this, that, and the third. Yeah, you're not supposed to just cuss your, cuss your grandma out because the turkey is dry. But yet, and still on the flip side, think about all those kids that have parents that abuse them. They're supposed to, um, um, you know what I'm saying, whatever I just said, honor. they're supposed to honor that parent? No. There's something wrong with that. And then also in the church and I can speak on this because I was in the church grew up in the church like I said I just stopped going maybe about two or three years ago whenever y'all go to church it see you can time it every single month every single season they preach about the exact same shit over and over and over and over that book has over a thousand um, I don't even know how many pages it has thousands of pages in it why are we only learning about one, the birth of that dude. Two, Adam and Eve and what Adam did and how she's so horrible. And that's why women have periods now. Three, um, Moses. Four, the Ten Commandments. Five, the devil. Everything is exactly the same every single Sunday, damn near. Every single month. Christmas time, birth, birth of that dude. Easter time, when he rose. When he died, how he died, why he died. Did y'all know that that dude was supposedly a Jew? And he was killed by Jewish people? That doesn't make any sense either. It doesn't make any sense. Because once, and like I was saying, I had commented on Jay Marvel's video. They snap out of it sooner or later. And that's what it is. It may take 10 years, may take 40 years. Just like Dr. Ray Hagens, I want to say it said, he said it took him 30 years to snap out of this is not true. And I can't keep teaching my people this stuff because it's not true. It's not real. It's all a weapon to keep you. Um, damn, what's the word? Not militant, but it's all a weapon to keep you not dominated. Damn, I just had a brain fart. It's a weapon to keep you basically docile, to keep you calm, especially us in our community. In the black, in the black and brown community, is so you can stay docile, so you're not out here going crazy, bucking against the police, out here stealing. That's not still true, but uh, just like sis said, that's the the church is the only place that steals from you every single week, and don't nobody call the police. But now we got to go out into society after we just gave ten percent of our two hundred dollars, gave them that whole twenty. Now by the time it's the next Sunday, you ain't got no money. Then what you supposed to do? Then how you going to feed your kids? How you going to put some gas in your car? You know the whole ministry of kindness thing? Where they're supposed to help out the community with that money? They don't. And I can pledge for that. They don't. I was in a family church. Granted, it wasn't my family. But it was a family church and I was in there for some years. Singing, dedicating my time, giving up summer vacations. This was when I was a teenager. Giving up summer vacations, going to the beach with my cousins and stuff. Nah, man, y'all, I got to go to church. I got to sing with them. I got to do this with them. Putting in all this time and effort. When I became an adult and I actually rented a home property from them and there was a problem with my heating unit and I kept asking them to come fix it, come fix it. There's something wrong with it. It won't turn off. I had a bill for over $400. Do you think any of that ministry of kindness money went towards my bill? No, that's, my lights got cut the fuck off and I had to get that money back up there to get my lights turned back on and I stopped going to that church ministry of kindness my ass because I can only imagine how much money I put in there I'm gonna drop this little rant that I'm doing real quick but I support you Leandria I support you because I've been there and I lived it hell even now I still ain't got a car that's as nice as my my old pastor any of them they living and they're eating while you're suffering 